On these cold days, there is nothing better than a nice, warm, homemade cup of soup, right? Yes. <laughs> this is Chef Michael Catania from Play Bistro in Green Bay, and they make wonderful soups there. And right now, you're going to show us how to make roasted butternut squash puree. That is correct. Yum. What did you do here? Right now, I quartered one whole butternut squash. Or I have to actually. What I'm going to do is season that. I'm going to use white pepper. This way it doesn't change the color of it rather than black. So I'll season with a little white pepper. Okay. Then I'm going to do some salt. Always got to have salt. Got to right? have the salt. <laughs> then I'm going to do a nice amount of cinnamon on this. You want a nice color on that. Mm. And then I'll take my sugar. You want about a tablespoon total. You want to caramelize the butternut squash. Caramelized, so it gets all browned nice and, brown. and candied almost on top. Then I'm right? going to throw this in the oven for about one hour. Okay. And what do you know through the magic of television? We have some that's been roasting, right? Yes, we do. Oh, and it smells so good. I wish you could smell it in here. Excuse me. Okay. And now what I'm going to do next is I am going to scoop out the butternut squash. Now you want this to be cool, otherwise, if it's hot, you're going to burn your hands. So as I scoop this out, you do, don't want to get any skin whatsoever. No skin. Okay, so none of the outside. Do you want me to get anything started going yes, in here? Yes, you can actually take, I have one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. You can add that. Okay. And then we have our carrots and our onions over there. Okay. And you could start to put that in. Um, about how much carrots and That onions? is one carrot. It comes to about one cup. And that is one small white onion. Okay. That's about one cup of onion as well. Am I putting in the garlic that as well? That is ginger. Oh, fresh ginger. ginger. Excuse a nice me. dice on it. And none of these vegetables have to be, you know, perfectly cut. Um, everything's going to get pureed in here. Okay. So just kind of saute this for how long then? Saute it for about five minutes. You want the onions to become translucent. Okay. And you probably want to add a little pinch of salt in there. Okay. And then once you get that going, you're going to want to deglaze the pan. Mm. I use amaretto, which is in the big cup right there. You want me to go ahead and do this? Yes. I feel like Amy That right is now. three ounces of amaretto. Ooh, okay. Now you're going to want to let that reduce for, it's about a minute to two minutes. Okay. You can kind of tell the caramelization on the onions. It smells wonderful. Okay. Then our next step, we're going to add the brown sugar, mm -hmm. which is right here. This is one cup of brown sugar. Okay. And you'll see the color start to form in there. Everything will start to turn brown. Okay. What else are we going to end up adding in here, Michael? What I have here, this is one quart of vegetable stock. Okay. We're going to add that in. Then we have one quart of heavy whipping cream. And that's what makes the soup good, or That'll the puree. That'll thicken it up. Yeah, absolutely. As well as the butternut Looks squash. Looks wonderful. Okay, I know we are running out of time here a little bit. So eventually now we're going to add our add squash. Add the butternut squash in there. And eventually, um, I know you, you, you guys use an industrial size puree machine. But you could get a smaller one. Emerald calls it the motorboat. You could find a small one at your local department store. What you're going to do is add the butternut squash in and let that simmer for about a half an hour. Get all the flavor out. And then you're going to puree it. And this is what you end up with over okay. here. Could you scoop some in a bowl for yes, us? I, can. I know we got to get going to break, but um, we will get this um, all on our website, box11online.com. Just click on Good Day Wisconsin. Roasted butternut squash puree.